always sad when someone has to die. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. This is a shame. Uh, no, sorry. But I did notice that her coin purse was still intact, so whoever did this wasn't after gold. I'm going to keep preparing the body, if you'll excuse me. Another one. I heard a scream and came running, but she was already... like this when I got here. Always sad when someone has to die. Sorry, I thought I saw a fellow running away, but didn't get a good look at him. A few septims for my supper is all I ask. The Imperials think us all lawless beasts. Just like always, nobody saw anything useful. The bastards escaped again. Look, friend. If you think you can I do better than the Legion of Guards, be my guest. You'll need to talk to your life, though. We can't just let anyone go around claiming to be an official business. If he's willing, then we'll talk. If you've got some time, stop by my house of curiosities. I promise you'll see wonders. Aye. Stormcloak, I'm not much of a strategist, but Lord Ulfric, these are difficult times indeed, when men stalk their brethren like beasts. My men are stretched thin as it is. If you offer your aid, I gladly accept. The guards will be told to assist you as necessary. I'm happy to lend a hand as much as I can as well. You're like me, huh? Don't fancy those clunky two-handed weapons. All right, then. I noticed a trail of blood leading away from here. Helgrid's taken the body into the Hall of the Dead to prepare for burial. She's a little crazy, but if she knows anything, it's dead bodies. Large diagonal cut from left shoulder. Well, she's dead. Well, she's dead. But I guess that's not unusual, at least not for somebody in here. I mean, someone who's not me, that is. Sorry, was only joking with you. Not really. The only unusual thing is the shape of the cuts. They look like they were made with. Well, the ancient Nords used these kinds of curved blades when they embalmed their dead. I don't know who in Windhelm would even have something like that. <laughs> Other than me, of course. I wouldn't hold out too much hope. Now, I really got to get back to the body. A lot of work to prepare her for the grave.
My heart goes out to Clan Shattershield. Kin murder, family warhammer stolen. There is no fairness in all that. Fiddling with any locks around here, Frigga Shattershield's old place, it's been abandoned ever since she was killed. I think her mother, Tova, has the key. All right then. I've been a bit out of sorts since... since our daughter was taken from. Not really sure what to do with myself anymore. I'm sorry. She was very dear to me, and it's rather painful to think about. I'd rather not talk about my daughter, if you'll excuse me. Well, all right. What exactly do you need to know? Yerim? Well, I'm not sure what you think you'll find there, but you're welcome to have a look. I'm right behind you. All right, what is it? What do you need? Huh? Okay, got it. Anything else?
The Imperators think the Imperators think us all lawless beasts. I'm proof of their ignorance. Ugh. Have you been talking to Viola Giordano? She posts those all over the city, and someone keeps taking them down. Ask her about it if you want an earful. I've never seen anything like it. I would take this to Calixto at the House of Curiosities. He has a good eye for strange trinkets. Might even give you a bit of gold for it. All right then. You're the one who casts those illusions. Impressive. I know your kind, always sneaking about. You lost? Welcome to the House of Curiosities. I offer a brief tour for a few coins, or you can simply browse at your leisure. My sister and I inherited a modest sum of money. We decided to travel and seek out whatever adventures we could find. As we journeyed across Tamriel, we encountered tales of exotic and wondrous artifacts. We decided to collect as many as we could. My sister passed away some years ago, so I settled down here and opened the House of Curiosities. I think she would be happy to know that our collection has brought smiles to faces both young and old. Let me see. Ah, yes. This is the Wheelstone. It's an heirloom symbol of the power of Windhelm. Traditionally, it's carried by the court mage. I would uh, be interested in acquiring it, if you're willing to part with it, that is. For a piece like that, I could pay 500 gold. Wonderful. This will be a splendid addition to my private collection. My sister and I once traveled the world to assemble our collection. Such adventures we had. Good to see you again, friend. Be on the lookout. The Butcher could be around any corner. I've been following him for months now. Well, not actually following. Trying to find him. The guards won't help. The people won't help. I'm the only one who thinks he can be caught. They say they're too busy with the war. I say, what good is winning a war if we're still terrorized by one of our own? Oh, they care, all right. Just none of them thinks to do anything about it. They say I'm just snooping around bothering people. But I'm trying to save lives. Huh? What's it say? Woundfirth. There have been rumors swirling about him for years, as long as I can remember. But he's a dangerous man. That's why they call him the Unliving. I wouldn't approach him directly. This information needs to go straight to the steward. He'll listen to you. We got a nickname for anyone who trifles with us guards here in Windhelm. Suicide. Fancy. An alchemist, hmm? Never could get the hang. Spare a coin. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. The divine smile on a charitable soul.
What do you need? Whatever you've heard I can do is probably true. If Ulfric needs a favor, he has it. Anyone else better pay well for the service. You already know all that I know. I beg your pardon? Necromancy. I am a member of the College of Winterhold. In good standing. They haven't allowed necromancy for hundreds of years. My what now? I've never kept a journal, I can assure you. What exactly did this amulet look like? I know it well. Or at least I've heard of it. I would wager that carving once depicted a skull. That is the necromancer's amulet of legend. It appears you were at least half right. There is necromancy at the heart of this. Eh. Calixto and his books are often confused about such matters. It happens to the best of us. I've been noting a pattern to when the killings happen. Now that we know they're tied in to some sort of necromantic ritual, I think I know when the next might occur. Let's see. From a Lordus of Last Seed until a Midas of Hearthfire, it will happen soon. Very soon. Keep watch in the Stone Quarter tomorrow night. That's almost certainly where the killer will strike next. Staying safe, uh, be careful. I have to wonder, what does the dragonborn do once he's and by the gradient? Can the soon be hot like any skin? What happened? What happened? Poor old woman. Go to thinking. Maybe I'm the dragonborn. I just don't know it yet. Horses. All day. Do you have any idea how dull horses are? A few 
I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. The Stormcloaks are finding victory across the land. Izmir's beard. The man was always a bit odd, but I wouldn't have expected. You've done this city a mighty service, friend. I believe you'll find the guards to be a bit more cordial with you in the future. Travel safely. It's dangerous out there. 